Hi guys and welcome. Today we're going to make these beautiful little accordion journaling spots. So they're great to have throughout your journal. You can tuck them in a tuck or a side um, flip a pocket. You, might, you can even paper clip them to the side of your page or the top of your page. You could put a hidden paper clip in the back of them. But they're, they're a real little bit of fun and great way to use up your scraps. So what I've done is I've had some leftover coffee paper strips. So that will determine how high your, um, your notebook's going to be. So these ones in particular are four and a quarter. Um, so we're going to go uh, three inch covers um, and by four and a quarter. So I'll just pop that one off to the side there and we'll pull I've got a couple of pieces um, I pulled out of my scraps this beautiful I think it's Kaiser craft um, cardstock with the butterflies so you basically cut two pieces four and a quarter by three in this case because we've got a little bit over four inches down here and you want your covers to be slightly bigger than your um, your paper that you're putting it on decide what uh, one you want for your front cover. We're actually going to embellish it as well. Um, you don't have to. You could leave it like that and just put a label on it. Um, I thought we'd dress it up a little bit today. So we're going to stick this one on. Actually, I'll ink it first. It's a bit hard to ink after you've stuck it down to the pages. Now, if you wanted more um, in reference to when you pull it out more um, paper then you would just stick another piece on to the side here and have it as an extra length but I'm just start uh, these are the length of an A4 piece of paper that are just left over from another project Now I was inspired by Corey um, from creating with scraps for this project. I watched it some time ago and I've had it on my to-do list. And as my scraps have been mounting, I'm just going to even that up. So you can see it's a little bit smaller than the cover, which is what I want. I want a bit of an overlap. And then you can score it. I'm just going to fold it. So you just make sure that it's straight. And then I'm going to fold it again. Just going to your paper edge and not, not your um, cover edge. And turn it around and fold it again. And then I'm just going to snip a little bit off the end there because we don't want it sticking out. And then we're going to stick our back cover on. What we want to do is pick it up then while well, we've got wiggle room and there's a small window with art glitter is line it up with our other cover just like that beautiful and you can also journal on the back as well just going to get my bone folder just to crisp up those folds. All right, and then we wanna put some um, embellishments on the front. I mean, it's beautiful paper, but I always like to add a little bit of something different. Um, I'm gonna go with some book page. So sort of like a bit of a cluster collage type of effect that I'm going for. Now 
you could just put a butterfly on the front or a flower or a sticker and I'll go up a bit it's a good way to use up some of your ephemera too this way I'm going to offset him a bit like that and then rather than a label I've actually got this circle well I guess it's a label it's a round label And then I'm adding a label just with some numbers. But you could put a word there. You could stamp a number there. Lovely. So that's one done. We're actually going to make two today. Oh, we stuck it. Our glue's just caught a bit on the edge there, so just be careful of any overruns like that, but we're able to fix it up. So I'll just leave that one off to the side open like that to dry. Let's grab our next one. So once again, we've got four and a quarter by three. Um, our leftover paper is what determined that. So when you pull your scraps out, have a look at the paper that you're putting in there first and then that will determine uh, what size cover because you can make it any size you want. If you don't have any scraps of paper, then you could cut some. You could use ledger, anything you want, just as long as you know that it's a space that you can journal on. So we might go this one with the front cover. Once again, we know that our paper is slightly smaller than our cover which is what we want. And then we're gonna fold just so it's inside the cover. So we've got a bit of a border all the way around and then turn it over and fold to the paper as straight as you can. And then fold it again just to your paper not to your cover and there's only a tiny bit we'll snip off because we don't want any overhang and then we want to stick our cover our back cover on make sure it's up the right way which that way and then so it's even with our other cover and crisp up those folds Make sure they haven't glued together, which they have just slightly there. That's our front cover. Now we want to add some embellishments. So I've got this beautiful 
I think it's a cologne ad. I'm just going to ink them all first. I may not put them all on. Bit of uh, lace, which is a digital download. Just some scrap that I tore off, which is that funny. I haven't got too much of that one left, actually. Um, and I'm not sure whether I'll use this cardstock, but I'm going to ink it anyway. The ink I'm using um, to distress is Ground Espresso. I don't want that one too long. It's a more chocolatey type of colour. I really love it. And then it's just about um, laying it, layering it on, having a bit of a play. Fairly neutral, neutral tones. Actually, I quite like it without. You can always choose to put a layer because we've got like different colours. That's one slightly green. I think I just like it like that. Let me just try. Now, I think I like it like that. I'm just going to distress the edge of this one a little bit more. Just to define it from the background because they're similar colours. But you could put little pockets on the front of these, little tuck spots. Just bear in mind when you're putting something on the front that they are going to be going, or most of the time be going inside of something, like a pocket or a tuck, unless you plan on just pinning them with a paper clip to your page. That you don't want um, bits and pieces that are going to pull off. Nearly dry that piece, and inside you could you could decorate it a little bit. You can have a little stamp down here. You could put some washi tape down there. Um, but there you go, like quick little projects. There's um, three of them. That one's slightly smaller. Like I said, the um, your strips. I think it was done with. I have two strips. Yeah, see so your strips will dictate what size your um, cover's going to be. So there's no real set measurements, but I was <coughs> just letting you know that um, I go a three inch width across. So the other is depending on what your, um, your scrap is, because that's the length of an A4 piece of paper. So if you're gonna have leftover paper, chances are it's an A4. So it'll be, if you go three inches, you'll get basically that many folds quite evenly as as you see and I only snipped off a slight piece on that but um, have a go at these guys a great little project and you know some extra um, journaling spots that you can tuck inside your journal um, you know the people that like to have all these hidden little spots which I do I love the more journaling spots you can get into a journal the better but um, yeah have a go at these guys drag out your scraps um, give it a go I'll put um, just those measurements of what I've done here down the bottom in the description just for reference for you, but um, you won't need it. If you stick to your three inches wide or however width you wanna go to get enough folds out of the strip of paper you got, or you can glue two strips together and have you know more of an accordion 
in there as well but um thanks for stopping by today guys if you haven't already i'd love you to subscribe i love bringing these um, videos to you and i look forward to seeing you on the next one thanks guys bye